Hi guys, welcome to today's vlog. Happy New Year. I feel like you can get away with saying Happy New Year until maybe like the 7th? Or I don't know, what do you guys think? Like, are you guys still saying Happy New Year? I just feel like it just brings such good vibes. Like when I'm out at the store, I just want to tell people like Happy Holidays still because I'm still living in the holidays. With these crazy times, I just want that holiday feel forever. And the Happy New Year for me is really just telling people like, I hope you have an amazing year. Today, me arreglé, me bañé, like us Latinos say me bañé, which, which means I showered, but clearly, obviously, I shower every day, twice a day. But it's just a phrase that we like to use, basically saying, like, I got ready. Like, oh, te bañaste, like, you showered, you look good. That's what that means. So, me bañé. I'm feeling cute or whatever. I'm not wearing PJs. Like, I legit have a full face of makeup on. Like, I have a lash on. I haven't seen myself with a lash in a minute. I just finished doing some stories and some work for a collaboration with Garnier Latrice, which I am so honored to be working with Garnier. Like, especially with what I'm working with them for because it's legitimately something that I do often that I love, that I swear by, and it's dyeing my hair at home. Like, you guys know that I'm team black hair. If you know, you know. If you know what I've been through with dyeing my hair and trying to go blonde or balayage, whatever, years ago and chopping my hair off, the whole nine. So ever since that fiasco, I've been dyeing my hair black at home. My hair has grown tremendously ever since I went back to my natural darker hair color. It just looks healthier, shinier, it is healthier and shinier, and it just feels more like me. Like, I just feel like black hair is rose. So, let me put you down real quick because my arm hurts. Okay, girl? <laughs> Lighting isn't as good here, so let's try to use this bad boy. That did nothing. Cool. This could work. This could work. Can it work for me? Is it doing anything for me? No. Okay. The sun is setting and it sets really early. It is only 4 o'clock and it's getting dark. I mean, granted, it's supposed to be getting better, but we're about to get a snowstorm here in New York. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I partnered with Garnier, and this video is also in collaboration with them, and I'm here to show you guys the tea. I'm showing you what is really good. I get questions on my hair all the time, and honestly, dyeing my hair black was the best decision that I made for the integrity of my hair, for the health of my hair. So about two weeks ago, I dyed my hair with the Garnier Olea Soft Black Hair Dye. I am fully stocked with hair dye. I'm actually one of the first to have the new packaging in my hands so this is their new box their new packaging i'm going to show you the old one this is the previous packaging but this baby is the new one what's so amazing about this hair dye and what sets it apart is that it doesn't have ammonia it actually smells floral which is crazy like you know when they say no ammonia and you still smell it like no legit when you put this hair dye on your eyes aren't burning you don't have to open a window up i mean you can if you want to but you don't have to and i loved that like i dyed my hair and i didn't get one drop of hair dye anywhere you guys know i'm team white furniture like my walls are white and most of my furniture is light and dyeing your hair black and having that light furniture could be scary but formula is like a cream formula so it's not messy at all they understood the assignment whether you're just doing your roots or you're just doing like a touch up for the grays because it does have 100 percent great coverage or if you're doing your full head of hair which is what i do this is it so I dyed my hair two weeks ago with the Garnier Soft Black. But let me put you on real quick to a product that is about to save your life. If you're one of those people, whether you dye your hair black or brown or red or whatever, that you feel like you need to dye your hair every month. Like that, that's not what we're doing. When you guys tell me that you're dyeing your hair every month, I'm like, I get it, like new growth, you want it to be super fresh. But no matter how healthy the hair dye is, like there's just no need for that. And let me tell you why. Let me put you onto this product. The Garnier Nutris Color Reviver 5 Minute Color Mask. I have it in rich black. So this is basically a hair mask because it's actually nourishing your hair. It has avocado oil. Like, baby, this will leave your hair super soft. But not only that, it's depositing color, non-permanent color, but onto your hair. So you know that fresh styling that you do after you've dyed your hair? Like, the color is just so rich, it's so vibrant, and you're just like, I love this. I wish it could feel like this forever. So this is the product that's going to bring you back to that day one because it's going to bring back that color you can use it for five minutes or ten minutes depending on how much color you want on your hair and it comes in different colors again i'm using rich black because i want my hair super duper black this is what i use today i shampooed my hair like normal I applied this for 10 minutes i just put a timer on my phone and that's it i rinsed it super easy no mess no black dye on my tub or on my curtains because you know that's the struggle with like a light bathroom and a dark hair color it can get messy no hair dye on my hands like i literally just rinsed it and while i was rinsing it it was just like super duper 
soft. I can feel the difference. I desperately need a haircut. My ends were giving broom before and it's not giving broom anymore. I did straighten my hair just a little bit just so it could be like extra sleek because my keratin is rubbing off. But anywho, this is a super cool way to get back that fresh paint job. I like to call my hair dye a paint job. That fresh, vibrant hair dye look after you've dyed your hair because again dyeing your hair every month like that's just not what we gonna do who got time for that i mean if you got time for that i don't know but i took some before and afters and my hair was still black because granted i just dyed it two weeks ago but my hair grows really really quickly so you can see that i had some new growth a little bit of brown peeking through because my natural hair is like a reddish brown i know you guys never see me with that hair but it's a reddish brown my hair just tends to like pull red like that's why i can't do like a balayage or blonde because my hair gets really really like orangey red and in the after you can see my hair is just a rich black like it's a blue black that I love and I'm just I'm here for it no mess smells delicious and it's also nourishing your hair like Garnier you did that so I did take before and afters I was curious to see like how much darker can my hair get it did so I'm gonna be posting those on my Instagram which is what I was just shooting right now of course I will have a link down below to the color that I use and the hair dye I'm gonna need you to save your coins and revive your hair at home that's pretty much all I did today it is 4 15 I kind of woke up a little late not gonna lie I've been waking up at like whatever time and like that's just not okay for the new year like what's really good where is the structure but you know what i'm gonna be easy on myself i'm not going to like you know get mad at myself i'm gonna take it slow and just do better <laughs> tomorrow we're not waking up at 11 we're waking up hopefully like around 8 i plan on filming the apartment tour finally on saturday or sunday so this weekend i moved in to this apartment in july and it's now january the last apartment i actually filmed the apartment tour i think a year in i have been really really trying not to do that i really wanted to get it to you guys sooner than that and a lot of the pieces are the same but i did get new furniture so i do have to give it a little tidying up today for the most part it's cleaned my apartment is clean i had sierra cleaning which is who i hire who i contract to come clean my apartment once every like two months i'll do like a deep clean so I do hire a cleaning service. I love to clean, but I feel like I'm just rambling up on here. I do hire a cleaning service. They did come like right before Christmas, but things kind of got crazy during New Year's and like just everything. So I just have to like tidy up, clean the mirrors, you know, clean up a little bit. Nothing too crazy. I was going to try to have them come and clean before the apartment tour, but that means that the apartment tour won't get filmed this weekend and we're not having that. So the old me would have said, no, I want it perfect. I want them to come because when they come and clean, baby, they clean, clean. Let's move. You guys bored? of this location like i'm just standing here talking forever but when they come and clean it's a different kind of clean like i know how to clean but they clean clean so i did want them to come before filming the apartment tour but we're just gonna tidy up today i got some starbucks you already know you already know it's a grande iced sugar cookie almond drink i'm drinking this now because pumpkin cold foam has officially left the building i have my energy right now i'm feeling really happy we vlogging today because i'm in a great mood i've been in a great mood but yeah we have starbucks and I added one pump of caramel syrup and vanilla cold foam. It legit tastes like a cookie. An, an almond sugar cookie. It's so good. If you like cookies, try that out. Let me turn you around and show you what we're working with. It's not too crazy. It's not too crazy. It's a little it's a little crazy. Like, why is it on the floor? What's going on here? Back on the floor. If you're Hispanic, you know that's mala suerte. I have a giveaway that I need to post up over there. You're gonna fix this real quick, real quick. I'm going to put you guys down. Okay, 
I mean, no, don't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. But it's okay. So, I desperately need a new computer. My baby is on her last leg. It works. My computer works. Um, I actually got it while I was working at the Apple store, so it has like good specs. But I need to have it on the charger in order for it to work. So, that's a problem because I would like to just edit anywhere. It's just about time to upgrade the laptop, but I'm going to probably do that next week. I told myself because I have like four big purchases that I want to make. A new computer, a nude purse like a light nude like a going out like white or nude or like a brown something that's not black because almost all my bags are black my laptop which is first um a black coat because my coat i've been having the same macage or macage coat for years and years and years and she's still going strong but she's getting a little holy <laughs> around the arms like there's like little tiny like the material came off super warm it does have like the fur hood and you guys always ask me about it but i do want a black coat maybe a short one because that one's long i'm still gonna keep it but i just want like something that i can just throw on that's black for every day boom laptop coat nude bag and a pair of designer heels because i don't own one pair of designer heels and that's because they're really uncomfortable this computer like it works but it's just so slow and i asked you guys if you recommend any designer heels and a lot of you guys told me Bottega heels. There was a Louboutin that I want to try on. I think it's called Hot Chick. I wrote them down so once I figure out what heel is worth the investment, I will let you know. But I kind of want either a nude or a black. I don't know if I want open toe or pump. I don't mind either. Like I'm not opposed to either. Like a sandal heel. I don't know if I want like a sandal heel. Not sure. But not having a new computer, like a computer that works quickly, is a struggle <laughs> because this makes editing not so fun. We're starting off 2022. 2022, guys. We're in 2022. Oh my god. We're starting 2022 off with a bang. Like, let's invest in this business. Let's make our lives easier. I need to have a YouTube setup where I could just sit down and film. I want to even go as far as having like a remote control where I can like turn it on and the outlets turn on and the lights turn on. Like, I want ease. 2022, baby, we're giving ease. I want to sit down. Okay, maybe not the remote control, but I want to be able to boom, turn on my three lights and film. Microphone on, film. Computer there, ready to go. Not unravel cords, find cables, like beautiful New York sounds. I put on a comfy t-shirt because we could have the beat face, but the, the shirt was doing a lot. Like a bodysuit right now is not my vibes. It's my girl time and I'm just wanting to be comfy while I edit. Do my water. Drink your water and mind your business. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to die? Okay, once I get this apartment tour going and done and I get to do it, I can ease up a little bit on myself because I'm really hard on myself as far as having everything perfect, like all cables need to be put away, like no, they can be out if it's gonna help you out, you know? Like my lights, they have these long cables, I put them away every time, that's so unnecessary, like just have them plugged in or at least unplugged but have them ready to go. I'm going to clear my Final Cut Pro, make some room. This laptop does have a lot of storage, but I like to keep all of my like projects. Like let's say I'm working with a company, I won't delete anything until until it's approved, until it's done, until it's uploaded, because you just never know. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing. I'm going to upload everything to Dropbox once it's all edited. I'm gonna get comfy and let's get on with it. I just broke my SD card. problem is that a lot of women use these young boys to fill in the void of an actual relationship. Now don't get me wrong, there's a big difference in raising a good man for this world and raising a good man for yourself. You can usually tell the difference when that boy becomes a man and starts dating and has girlfriends and builds a life outside of home. These mothers will make them feel guilty for that. These men will have girlfriends and wives and you don't understand why you're in competition with your mother or not. And it's because she put all of this effort and time into raising the perfect man, but he's not hers. Y'all, my computer is acting up. Acting up. Nothing cool. Nothing cool. I should be using gloves, but I don't use gloves. One eternity later. <laughs>
it's the combo for me. I'm about to steam this curtain. I just got a new one. I'm using this little guy from Amazon. I don't know, I just picked like the first one that I saw and it does the job. It's little, it's not cordless, but you know, it just does the job because I don't really steam much other than curtains and sheets sometimes. So let's fix this situation. It looks so much better once it's nice and wrinkle free. The only downside is that the steamer takes a little long to heat up, but she's coming out. So let's get to it. We are back home. Got my nails done. I did a French. I've never done French with this shape, which is my new shape, which is almond. Some of these are my real nails. Some of them are extensions. I do hard gel. I just got them done today. I don't know the color of the base. I think it was OPI, but she just did like a pinky nude one coat. We also got our lashes done. I feel like when you first get your lashes on, like the first day, you look like puffy because you were laying down. As the days go on, it just looks better and better. I'm going to go downstairs and pick up some packages. I had my meal prep delivery service which is cook unity get delivered i don't do it all the time i do it sometimes i said it was delivered but it's not here so i'm guessing it's in the package room i think i have another package there as well so we're gonna go pick that up it's the socks and crocs for me can you see my gibbets i got some of these on amazon some of these on etsy there it is Grilled chicken with jollof rice, quinoa chickpea salad, veggie or chiet, whatever that is, <laughs> and panko crusted salmon. I'm most excited for the grilled chicken. You literally just take off this plastic, you remove any like sauces, you pop it in the oven or the microwave and you're good to go. This one it says like use by Tuesday the 11th. Also the 11th, this one's the 13th, so the ones on the 11th I'll put on top. I got like a really good deal when I first signed up for this and I really liked the tacos that I got. So I ended up continuing it. I will leave the information for it down below because they do have a really good promo if you're like a first time customer. I'll put these in the fridge. One of my supporters, I would say one of my friends, Mel, she has a brand which is called Silk and Love. She had sent me some really nice silk scrunchies and I fell in love with them. So I ended up ordering some more. I got the black ones. She wrote me a really sweet note. Quality is amazing and I'm supporting a friend's business. She also included these, which is really nice. These cute clips. How cute are these to do your makeup, to get ready? Super cute and glam and really great quality. Like the gold accents, like it's just all very glam and like even the packaging is really, really nice. So shout out to Silk and Love. Got a package from Elf. Lots of new goodies. I actually wanted to order this, the brow lift applicator. <gasps> Yes, and the brow lift. Oh, I'm definitely trying this first. Let me get it out. I love a brow gel wax, and this is super cool. This tool, kind of like laminating your brows out, laminating your brows. Grip primer, some lip stains, lip filler, liner, stay all day blue light setting mist, and a sponge. New goodies. My skin has been so sensitive. Like, even if I touch it, it gets red. I don't know if you can see right there. Like, I need to stop touching my face. I just washed my hands when I walked in, but still, hands should not be on the face. And I have a really bad habit of like leaning on my hands. I got another nightstand. I actually had two when they first came, but I had to send one back because it came stained. They just like picked it up, I returned it, and then I reordered it. So I got it back. I'm going to take it out the box, put it on the side of the bed. I don't even know what else I ordered, but I think there's another package downstairs for me because I got like a message in my email. And that's about it, really. It's Friday, but I'm team inside because 
one the state of the world and two it's freezing so staying inside i really wanted mediterranean food tonight but maybe i'll get it tomorrow there's this place in the city that's so good it's called naya every time i post it you guys are like where is that it's in the city and it's amazing it's already late and i have some work to do so i doubt i'll make it to the city my camera died when i was steaming the curtain but promise you it's done i do need a new steamer though the one i have was cool but i noticed that it has like a little funky situation inside like moldy and i never close it with like water inside it's just like a cheap steamer so i gotta get a new one so i'm gonna order one of those online today and just keep on keeping on i'm gonna just chill on the couch probably after i do some work and put everything away and just dm with you guys like chat with you guys because that's honestly my favorite thing to do and that's what we're doing i am going to be filming my perfume video this week as well as my apartment tour which can't wait for that because those two videos have been highly requested they need to get done so they're gonna get done this week i'm really excited about that so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one Bye, guys.